So it appears, Mr. Black, that Black Adam didn't do so hot. Bit of a failure. Yep. Bit of a failure. And Warner Bros. execs have gone further than that by saying that they think The Rock and his team purposefully leaked financial documents to make it seem like the movie was a financial success. Because The Rock has definitely been out on his grind, continuing to push Black Adam. I have seen, and you know it's getting dirty, because I have seen The Rock actually randomly respond to, like, to, to like Kotaku or some shit when they were talking about the movie in a bad light, trying to fucking reverse the... The, the narrative about what was going on with the film. I mean, he was going deep. And, boy, you know, all the power to him. I mean, the man, the man when he's behind something, he goes all in. Uh, but you know it's going to be down and, and, and down bad when he's doing shit like that. So, uh, when, I saw, when I saw this, yeah. I don't, I don't think it takes a financial, uh, a, a, you know, a financial uh, 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 analyst to, to know that this movie lost money. Uh, a lot of and, money. And this is, I think, this is like The Rock's first real major oopsie. We didn't sell this movie, you know, hard enough, or this is just not well, it. Why do you think this yeah. movie didn't hit, Mr. Black? Well, because, for one, it's Black Adam, so it's an unknown character. Yeah. Number two, the movie wasn't very good. It's pretty fucking meh. Like, was it a bad, bad movie? No, it wasn't a bad movie. It certainly wasn't good. Um... He also, and let's be real, Henry Cavill as Superman last minute where they basically just spoiled it like be, because they were so desperate to get tickets that like if they didn't even bait the Superman reveal, spoiler alert, you know, um, which, he's in the credits, guys. He's in the fucking credits, okay? He's which, not even in the movie. Not that it matters okay. anyway at this point. Not that it matters because we'll talk about it. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know the whole Henry Cavill's back and he's going on and he's on his Instagram and the rock is saying, Oh, there's a, p a power, a power dynamic change in the DCEU. And Oh, I'm going to be fighting Superman and blah, blah, blah. He hyped all this shit up. And then the movie flopped essentially. Um, it's probably going to lose a hundred million dollars. Uh -huh. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not good. The fact that the rock went out and started posting numbers, financial numbers, desperation he's trying his best because guys remember the rock is mr number one bro number one this in the world he's most money. successful this biggest growing this da da it's part of his image it's part of who he is and to have a complete and utter box office failure uh, on such a large scale where he put all this time and effort into it probably not a good feeling and then the studio came out and said nah the numbers that he brought that he came out with incomplete not not right this ain't it and um he's probably embarrassed and he's probably trying to st stop the media shitstorm uh movies now out on hbo max so like it's theater run is done uh movie didn't make money and now james gunn's in here and <laughs> we can I spin would... right into that because it goes together right james gunn gets brought in as like the Feige of DCEU after DC has clearly been, as we've discussed here, kind of spinning their tires for a long time. They'll have a, a reasonable success, then they put out dog shit, then there's another reasonable success. But it's kind of like if you averaged it all, they're just kind of floating in midland. But it's also confusing because you've got Robert Pattinson Batman, you've got oh, yeah. Ben Affleck Batman, you've got Michael Keaton Batman, You've got fucking different jokers, different this, different that. It's a fucking mess. It's different universes, different fucking this. And James Gunn came in, and they're going to switch up everything. And he started do a blasting. Hard, <laughs> and do a hard reset. There needs to only be one Superman, one Batman, one Joker, one Aquaman, one Wonder Woman, one all these things. And um, you also can't do it with the old actors and actresses because it's going to remind people of the past. You can't just pick and choose. They got to fucking start. They got to wipe everything and then start fresh. And we're not talking origins, but they need new, new, new actors, new actresses to play these characters, and they need a cohesive feel in a, in a universe, and they need to build from the ground up. 
because what they've been doing over this last decade has just been awful. And, been and that's, you know, that really sucks because for them, at the very least, Superman and Wonder Woman were like generational picks for those two characters. And they've already been squandered because like you said, you can't go back and bring these fucking actors and actresses back. Henry Cavill is the most Superman-ass Superman that oh, yeah. that you could possibly hope. There, like, who the fuck? And everybody agrees. Everybody agrees, right? Who so, the fuck are you possibly going to? Like, who can you imagine who gets the who gets the contract in front of them that goes, "All right, I'm the guy that has to try and and replace Henry Cavill." Yeah, I'm getting paid a lot of money, but oh my fucking they're god, they're probably not even going to get paid that much to be honest. Because well, it's going to be a nobody. Are, yeah, chances are it's going to be like somebody that's kind of known but not really known, so they're yeah. going to have to make their career off this. Yeah. But yeah, it's a it's a shit show over there and he's cleaning it up and you know, he's he I guess we'll tie it right in. Henry Cavill Superman is done. So, after he just got told about, like fucking October. Well, yeah, so I I'm pretty I don't know if we talked about this on a podcast, but essentially um they were bringing him back. And I think a lot of this had to do with The Rock because from Warner Brothers can't stand Henry Cavill, but they have new people that came in through Warner Brothers and The Rock worked his fucking magic because he's The Rock and they do whatever the fucking Rock wants, but The Rock failed. The Rock's shit failed. Now, if if Black Adam went and made a billion dollars in the box office, I think all this changes. I, yeah, think, yeah. I think that there's, there's, some, there, there's, some, there's some change here, but it didn't. And if The Rock can't do it, I, I don't know. I don't know who can. Like he's one of the biggest movie stars in the world, so I don't. I don't know who can. So he got canned. Apparently, Superman had a cameo in both Aquaman and um, uh, I think it was The Flash. It might be The Flash and Aquaman. Both of them are deleted. So they're not. When those movies come out, he's not in it. Um, he was, of course, in the credits, uh, the post credit scene. Uh, for Black Adam, but now it's over. So they are completely axing him out. He just went, I think yesterday and or this morning it was one of the two. Yeah, and yesterday, yeah, he, yeah. He told everybody he's done as Superman. The cape is being is is off. It's being given to somebody else now, and he wishes them all the best. Um, which puts Henry Cavill in a weird spot because he doesn't have The Witcher, and he doesn't have Superman. He's probably gonna get Bond. I would, I would, I am going to almost bet money. I, I said that last money. night on the stream, but then when I said it out loud, I think I also said, I, I think I also said though, that for me, I'm going to have a really hard time seeing him as Bond. Now, if you put him as Bond before he did Superman and Geralt from Witcher, and that was like his thing, kind of like with Daniel Craig, who had done stuff before, but then Bond, he is Bond, now, like after he became, like if you, is that situation, I think that he is, is borderline the perfect, he's like, he, he'd be a throwback to like old school yeah. Bond, because he's the classic yeah. handsome kind of situation, whatever, but to do it after these two, I'm, I'm personally, I, clearly he'd do a, probably a great job of it, I would personally struggle to see yeah. him we'll see in James Bond. So we'll see. Um apparently they're going to go with the younger Superman. James Gunn said that they were going yes, with the younger Superman. It yep. will not be an origin story. Just um, younger. Just younger. Um so who knows. Um and then also Gal Gadot um who was who's she's done too. Like they're they're all done. Ben Affleck's done. So it's confirmed Ben Affleck's Batman's done, but James Gunn is going to try and bring Ben Affleck in to direct, he wants to direct a Batman something. film. Yeah. A Batman movie. Um, and then also there is rumor that James Gunn is or was trying to get Robert Pattinson's Batman to be the actual Batman. So he's going to bring him into the universe because he loves this new version of Batman. But, um, uh, uh, what's his name? The guy that made the Batman's um, the director? No, 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 no. The one? Oh, this, this, the new this, one. the new one. Yeah, um, uh, Reeves. So Reeves, um, he said, "Fuck no, not a chance, not a chance." You're taking my Batman, and you are <laughs> you're, you're, you're you're doing this. So who only knows? But at the same time, uh, Gun is now. 
the boss, right? So yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. Fuck. Um, so we'll see what happens. It's all a shit, shor- uh, shit st- uh, storm over there. A lot of change is going to be made. We don't know what's going to happen with everything, but it is safe to say Henry Cavill's done. Gal Gadot's likely done. We already know um, this is the last Aquaman. He said that both Henry Cavill and um, the guy that plays Aquaman, I'm going blank on names here, fucking uh, Jason Momoa, yeah. um, he has characters in mind for them. So they may end up playing different characters in this new uh, universe. Uh, that'd be even, it won't, that'd be it won't even be more strange to it'll me. It'll be weird. Like, yeah, it'll be weird. Like, but if they they're probably, out, they should just be fucking... Yeah, they, oh. they should. They probably want to keep some of their talent in-house because they're big stars and stuff, but we'll see. We'll see.